Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of the series called Docker Practical Guide. In this video, I will show how we can use Nginx as a reverse proxy in front of a Node.js application. How to use Node image from Docker Hub and run it with a simple Node.js application. For today's video, I will use Nginx image from Docker Hub and put it as a reverse proxy in front of that Node.js application. If you have not watched the first part of the series, I would request you to watch that first. I will share the link in the description below. Also to get notifications for the future videos, you can subscribe to my channel The Destro Dev Show and click the bell icon. First, I will run the Nginx container standalone. Let's create a folder my Nginx. I'm creating Docker file for Nginx image. Let's open that. Here Nginx is the image name from Docker Hub. We need to make sure that image names are exactly same. Let's save this file with Ctrl X, then Y, enter. Let's build the image for this Nginx. And here I gave doc Nginx as a name for that image. It is pulling the image from Docker Hub and after waiting a bit, I can see successfully built. If I want to see all the Docker images, I can try Docker space images command. Doc Nginx image is available now. I will run this as a container. I'm mapping the port here, Nginx is running at 80, but for my host machine, I'm using 8080. Let's try that. Cool, it is saying ready for startup. Let's try localhost 8080 in the browser. Great, we can see Nginx is running in my host machine. We remember our goal is I will use this Nginx server as a reverse proxy in front of my Node.js application. To do that, let's run our Node.js application from last video. This is the code from my first video which has docker file and one server.js and in this docker file we have this node.js. In the server.js file we have one simple node.js application which is running on 3333 port. I will build this image with the name doc node and after waiting a while it is successfully built. To run as a container I will use this command here doc node is actually our image name and here I am adding node server as a container name. I'm running this container as a dtest mode here with dash d. Currently my doc node container is running. Let's try in the browser with localhost this port. Awesome, our Node.js server is running and it is returning the destro dev show docker series as a response. Now let's go to our code editor. I will create a file here default.conf. I'm adding some configurations in this default.conf file to make our reverse proxy work. Here, this server colon 3333 port is where our Node.js application is running at. I will come to this point within a minute again. In our nginx docker file, let's copy this default.config file inside the docker container. I will build this nginx image again. If we try docker images, our both images should be available now. Yes, we can see doc nginx and doc node both are here. Now let's run our nginx container. And here doc nginx is our nginx image name. And for this container we are giving a name like nginx proxy. So after running this command, our node application should be available now in 8080 port. Let's try that. Awesome, our nginx is actually working as a reverse proxy here. So when we hit this 8080 port, it is basically forwarding this to Node.js application which is at 3333 port. Right now, this 8080 and this 3333 port both are working, but in the production infrastructure, we can keep this Node.js application in the internal network and this Nginx which is at 8080 port in the public network so that the real users only hit this Nginx proxy server, not directly the Node application server. Those are probably out of scope for this Docker series, but of course I will try to create videos for other topics in future. Let's see quickly in a picture so that we can easily understand that. This is how the reverse proxy works. From the public internet, the request will come to the proxy server. The proxy server will forward the request to web server. And for our example, Node.js application is our web server. And which is under internal network, as I mentioned few seconds ago, we can keep that Node.js application in the internal network so that from the public internet, no one can directly access this web server. 
Great, we have made our simple reverse proxy server with Nginx and we used Docker containers for both proxy server and also application server. Sometimes we might need to remove images from host machine. So let's see how we can do that. If I want to see all the running containers, I can do like docker ps and to stop the container, I can do docker stop with the container ID. If I do docker ps again, now we can see one is gone. Let's stop the other one also. We can see I have few images here. If I want to remove one image, I can execute docker rmi with this image id. It is saying it is used by stopped container. But if I still want to remove this, I can do force. Cool. Let's try docker images now. We can see that doc node image is gone now. And if I want to remove all the images from my host machine, I can execute this command with dash f. Try docker images. We can see the list is empty. I hope you enjoyed this video and then please click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel somewhere here. See you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Ciao.